The RSS Reader in Tidler Live allows you to add live data from RSS feeds into your broadcasts, titles, and graphics. Today we'll be creating a simple RSS feed title from scratch, as well as repurposing an existing title to display an RSS feed. We'll create a new title by right-clicking inside the playlist and selecting New. Once created, go to the Inputs tab and select General, RSS Reader, New Input. Now we'll need to choose a name for our new input and paste in the feed's URL. Today we'll be using ESPN's Top Headlines feed, which can be found on ESPN's website. Once the input has been created, we'll want to ensure that our title is linked to the correct input, so we'll select ESPN Top News from the input dropdown in the playlist. Now all that's left is to apply the feed's message to our title. To do this, click Show Input and drag the message variable onto our text. Now when we press Start All, the RSS feed will be applied to our title. Every item in an RSS feed comes embedded with five different fields. The title, description, name, message, and date. If you want to display all of these fields, enter the title designer and create five different text elements. Close the title designer and drag an input onto each text field. Now when we click Start All, we can clearly see how each variable is represented in our title. Of course, variable assignment is just the first step. The second involves utilizing this information in a way that's aesthetically pleasing. To accomplish that, we'll be repurposing an existing title from the social media collection whose original purpose is to display live tweets. Once again, we'll want to select our RSS feed from the input dropdown and drag our variables onto the appropriate fields. We can already see our new data being fed into the text fields, but of course we still need to give this title a makeover. Enter the title designer again by double-clicking on the title's preview, delete the unnecessary elements like the Twitter UI, reposition the text, and change the textures. With a little bit of creativity, we've turned a template originally designed to showcase tweets into a live data-driven halftime graphic.